What is going on YouTube and welcome back everyone tuning in to Starblox. Coming at you all with another awesome Roblox update this week like always. In today's video, we're going to be going over 5 pretty freaky facts about the Roblox KSI event that was held a couple of weeks ago along with all the details too. It's going to be pretty wild so before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too and without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. Roblox has been growing exponentially is not just a gaming platform, but an experience that can hold shows and events on a dramatically massive scale. We've already seen the potential and capabilities of what these planned events can generate in terms of enjoyment and hype. Just take a look at the Lil Nas X concert that was held a few months ago. He performed to an audience of millions across two days and four shows, playing in a setting that literally made him larger than life inside of Roblox. But now, things have been moving on to the next massive event, most likely to rival that of the Fortnite concerts holding the likes of Travis Scott and much more recently, Ariana Grande. The YouTube star and artist KSI had announced his very own Roblox event that was on the way to celebrate the launch of his latest record all over the place. The massively popular YouTuber performed four different songs from his brand new album all over the place directly within the game as part of a virtual launch party. Like we mentioned earlier, the previous Roblox collaborations we have seen involving Lil Nas X drew in an estimated 33 million views overall. When compared to the Travis Scott concert in Fortnite, he had only generated roughly 12.3 million concurrent players involved with the event which is kind of shocking when you think about it. Most people would assume Fortnite to be the more popular alternative, but this goes to show how much traction and hype that's truly behind Roblox as a platform for these amazing virtual events. KSI's exclusive Roblox crossover event went live on August 13th and from the reception we have received back from the Roblox community, we can derive a handful of facts from what we've heard. So for number 5, the first fact is that a lot of players were not even excited about this event prior to its starting. Strangely enough, it seemed like groups of people from the Roblox community were just not into KSI whatsoever, which kind of slightly affected the viewership of this event, but honestly not by much, but we still don't know the official numbers. It's still pretty surprising that Roblox held an event that had a significant number of people just not vibing to it, however they still joined anyway because they were with their friends. The next freaky fact is that apparently, a lot of people were experiencing a ton of technical issues within the event. Many players on Reddit reported that they could not hear any audio, and if they could, it was very choppy and slightly delayed for some reason. This could be because of their home internet, but many claim that they were on wired gigabit ethernet, so it possibly could have been a server issue on Roblox's side. That's pretty huge considering there is a lot of work put into getting this event together, all for some people to not even get to experience it fully, which really does suck. For number 3, a lot of people didn't even know KSI made music. Kind of embarrassing to show up to someone's event and not even know that they made music as well as work as a YouTuber. But either way, this also skewed opinion on KSI himself regarding his event after the fact that left many players just neutral or unimpressed with the whole thing, which is not a good ending to a huge event like that. The next fact is that the rewards and in-game items that players received for joining were just not that great. It was some of the most underwhelming stuff you could have given out to the crowd, which considering this is all virtual, how would you be losing any more money by just making some of these items look better? Fans were definitely not happy about it, obviously except for those that are heavy KSI fans, but still, it just felt that not enough effort was put into that side of the event unfortunately. The last fact we have for you guys that you may find pretty freaky is that of course, the coolest looking items that were available, of which there were only three, were up for purchase only. This is a pretty big letdown as some of those items included boxing gloves, a king's crown, and a really awesome looking red and black mask as well that normal attending players could not receive. Instead, you had to shell out some money to be able to get one of these items, which is such a chore at this point because of the small selection. It's totally fine to have a premium selection available for players, but you should at least make both sides pretty expansive to give players a wider choice instead of restricting them like this event. Either way, a majority of the players who were KSI fans seem to have had a great time, so I suppose that's all that matters. But let us know any other freaky facts you know about the KSI event that was on Roblox down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and if you enjoyed what you saw, then be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more of the best Roblox updates out there on YouTube. This is the Starblock signing off and we'll catch you all in the next one.